There is no doubt that the coronavirus crisis has had its effects on both the United States and China, and on the relationship between them. It may be premature to assess these effects on some issues related to the two countries, such as the balance of power and position in the international system, especially since the crisis is still continuing, and some conclusions that were promoted at the beginning of the crisis, such as the Chinese, Asian, success and the American-European failure, jumping from that to results related to the structure of the international system, which are now under review in light of the emergence of a new wave of the epidemic in Asian countries that were considered models of success, and the growing suspicion of the West about the information announced by China about the degree of the virus outbreak, and the success in dealing with it. In addition, a number of the major issues raised by the spread of the epidemic, also related to China and the United States, will not be resolved soon, and will continue to be controversial for years to come, including questions related to the best in dealing with the crisis, is it authoritarian regimes or democracy? The state based on federalism and local government or with a central authority? The role of the government or the private sector and civil society? Is the result a victory for nationalism and populism, or for globalization? But apart from these major issues, it can be said that the corona crisis will have some impact on both China and the United States, the relationship between them, and their role in the international system, and the result of that is that the two countries will emerge from this crisis, but to varying degrees, and the losses of the United States will not necessarily translate into immediate gains for China. The corona crisis will not result in the emergence of a new international order, but it will certainly lead to an acceleration of steps in the direction that the system was heading in before the crisis, which is an international system without poles. The United States is retreating from the leadership role it used to play since after World War II, and has leaned more on itself during the corona crisis, and did not provide an international model for dealing with the crisis, and it contributed modest aid to other countries, and Trump stressed the need for more barriers to enter goods and humans for his country. On the other hand, although China presented itself as a model for the successful management of the crisis, and achieved some symbolic gains as a result of activating its soft power and providing medical aid to many countries of the world, this does not mean that it is able to fill the void of American retreat and lead a new international order. It lacks many capabilities, and there are still major problems about the model it represents. It is more likely that the world will continue to march towards non-polarity, and the consolidation of regional regimes in which the influence of the middle powers increases, and not a new international order based on American or Chinese polarity, or a bilateralism that brings them together. On the other hand, the corona crisis has widened the gap of mistrust between the United States and China, 
and China is expected to become a major issue in the upcoming U.S. presidential election campaign. President Trump criticized his Democratic rival, Joe Biden, stating that he adopts a weak stance towards China, and that he opposed travel bans from them, and is not seen as a threat to the U.S. economy. However, the biggest issue that the Trump administration began to raise is that related to the extent of China's responsibility for the emergence and spread of the coronavirus in the world, and it is expected that the Chinese lifestyle will be held accountable, and the call to change it, because its impact has exceeded the Chinese interior and extended to other societies, and affected their lifestyle, which is ideas similar to those that emerged in the aftermath of the attacks of September 11, 2001 and accusing the Arab interior of responsibility for the growth of terrorism. In this context, shedding light on the Chinese interior will increase tension with the West, and affect the promotion of the Chinese model in the world, despite China's pressure not to politicize the issue. The corona crisis will also affect the economic resources available to both the United States and China to achieve their external goals, and the matter seems more evident in the case of China, despite the return of many production lines, the global demand for their products has decreased dramatically as a result of the closure. Also. A number of large companies in the United States and Western countries have begun to shift away from Chinese supply lines that were cut off during the crisis, and dependence on supplies from other countries, in addition to mounting pressures to use resources locally, not abroad and all of this will affect the ability of China is financing its foreign policy goals. In short, the repercussions of the spread of corona are not expected to lead to a structural change in the international system, or the balance of power between China and the United States, and it will not be governed by the logic of the zero match, meaning that the losses of one of the two countries will necessarily translate into gains for the other, but there is still an opportunity to turn into a match a positive outcome from which both parties and the world would benefit, if the leaderships of the two countries realized the importance of cooperation between them to get out of this crisis. There is no doubt that the coronavirus crisis has had its effects on both the United States and China, and on the relationship between them. It may be premature to assess these effects on some issues related to the two countries, such as the balance of power and